All right, guys, we've got a problem. One of our chickens has a, uh, what we think is a bound egg. She's got a big bump on the bottom of her. All right. So we got some, uh, we got a bucket, some gloves. We're gonna have to uh, try to get in there and take care of that. Let's see what we can do. You got yours? Yeah. Are you ready to? You gonna help us clean these chickens? Whoa! Can you take it out? Okay. We got water. And we need that salt. Epsom salts. No? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, watch your fingers. Okay, you old mommy. <laughs> okay, Tate, where are we gonna put it? Where? Right on this? Right on there. Okay. Gotta turn your sleeves up. Yeah. Uh, do you want to catch her or do you want me to? We'll go and see. We'll let you try. What? I'm quite good at catching my chickens. <laughs> Not that one. Or first move. Come on, Rip. Come on, Sunflower. Good job, your mom. It's okay, you can learn. It'll be easier to catch her. Okay, all right, mom. Let's see your skills. Yeah, we might need your help. Got her. Got it. Okay. Panting or? She was when I was holding her a little bit ago. Wrap her in a tail. I know. Giant bulge right here. It's hot. It's hot. So we think that's an egg. And she's just, she hasn't been laying very long. Yeah. Okay. Catch, you're outside now. Come oh. on, Kedgy, outside. Oh. I know. Oh, this chicken never lets us touch her. No. Like, ever. Yeah, she, we couldn't even catch her when we first got her, remember? Yeah. So she knows something's wrong. Okay. Water. See? Yeah, what do you think? We'll so we're soaking soak her. her in Epsom salts. Yeah. And then we'll see, we gotta do it in here for about 20 minutes. And then we'll see how, how that works, if that helps. She hasn't laid an egg today. She was in the egg box, to the nesting box with Orpington. And she was kind of squabbling while she was in there. So she's clearly in pain. Yes. There's a sunflower. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of saw this weird bulge. I was like, what's that? Because her bum was towards me when I opened the nesting box. Yeah, you weren't looking up. You weren't checking them, they? Well, you just, I always kind of look it. at them. Yeah, yeah. I always like but to see what see they're it. doing. You can see it. And I was like, why is this bulgy here? Because I've checked them. Normally around this time, you know, we got to worry about like, lice or something along those lines because it's spring but um so i've been checking their bums just to make sure they're nice and clean and normally if you've got a really dirty bum that that means that there's an infestation happening <laughs> so gentle Davy. and sunflower is a a mix easter egger and um okay. lavender orpington yeah. So a really sweet, sweet docile chicken. And she doesn't seem upset by this. This is just a, a low intervention thing that you can do that's simple, that's helpful, really. Who doesn't like a nice warm soak? Mm, what are you Some you like salts. Wet. Do you, it's wet, do you like having baths? Yeah. It's wet. Yeah. Do you want to have a bath with the chicken next time? 
She seems in pretty good spirits except for this large bulge. Okay. <clears throat> I know, that's your cat. I bet, that's why I bet it made Kedgy. This is for the chicken. He's probably in a towel in there for her. Huge like bulge. Swollen, yeah. Yeah. But, and you, yeah. Doesn't usually feel like that. No, it's never. Because it's swollen and then you can feel like the heartache underneath it. You can't really feel the heartache underneath it, but she, Do you she's have to, the like, one that weird, that lays the weird eggs. She's uh, the one that, that, the yeah. Long. Doctor, Doctor Mummy, you ready for this? You take a so this is where the vent is, right here, and that's. You take them over here. He's going to over say on the you. side. So she doesn't have a messy bum. So she's been pooping, but somebody has been. She's picking at you. Mm, I don't know. She has a lot of mist. Hmm. What I'm seeing is some spots. Oh. You see this? It kind of looks like blisters, really. Yeah. Right down here. Right? Yeah, I think it does hurt a lot, buddy. The mommy's gonna try to help her. Hopefully it's an egg. Definitely looks like an egg. I know it's in the shape of an egg. <laughs> but it might be mal. It might just be misformed. I just wanna. <coughs> it's very soft. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't think that putting something inside of her is a good idea. Just doing it out on the outside. I just thought that's what we read. That was if it was if it was for certain egg bound, but I don't know if this is for certain egg bound. You're almost knocking over the oil. It's just so hot to the touch, which makes me feel like it's well, more it's, of an infection than egg well, bound. Well, it's, it's probably an egg bound, and then it's and then it's, an and then it's yeah. infected or inflamed, which is. You know, the inflammation is causing the heat. I just really, I think it's egg bound just, just based on the size of the fact that it's shaped like an egg and it's kind of like, you know, it's a, it's a common thing. And she is, we, and we know she's a newer, new layer. I don't know, I don't know. Hi. We've got a sick chicken. A sick chicken? Yeah. Hi, TV. What happened to the chicken? I don't, we don't know. It's, We're uh, not sure, she's got a bulge. Oh. Yeah. Which, which chicken is it? Sunflower. Yeah. Put, you oh, see yeah. that? It's like so big. Oh, don't take me. That would be hysterical if you're... So what have we decided, Mommy? It might be fluid. I really, I, I really feel like it's fluid. Or, yeah, I really feel like it's fluid. Yeah. So we don't know, it could be either fluid build up. An egg. An egg stuck or like a tumor or something. It just really doesn't feel like an egg. So like it's not hard at all, it's so soft. And they have calcium. They have calcium, but she is a new layer and she lays weird eggs. So I think she obviously has trouble with laying. Well, I think that's just so part just of. Right. But there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a cut on it too. So I wonder if it could be like a small infection. If you look right here. Well, we'll just leave her inside tonight. Yeah. It's going to be cold tonight, and we don't want her to get frozen to ice. Frozen to no. ice. All right, guys. So what we've decided is that uh, it could be a few things. It could be the uh, the egg stuck in there. Um, you know, it could just be some fluid buildup from some kind of infection or, uh, you know, it could be worse, some kind of tumor or something. So, um, we don't want to go, you know, inside the vent and do anything, introduce any type of, um, 
you know extra germs that could could make it worse so we're just gonna play it out we're gonna leave her inside tonight because it's supposed to get freezing and she's still wet um, so she, we've got a little cat kennel for her and we'll just leave her inside tonight and just check on it tomorrow and hopefully the the swelling goes down or or that egg comes out if that is the case um, and yeah all we can do now is just kind of hang out and uh, hopefully she uh, she uh, brushes this one off and we can keep going so see you guys